Who stole Einstein's brain? Just seven hours after the death of the great genius, Thomas Harvey, the pathologist who performed the autopsy without the permission of Einstein's family, cut his brain out of his body and froze it by injecting it with 10% formalin. His aim was to study this brain, which he believed to be unique, to discover what made him so brilliant. But Einstein hated the idolization of himself, and so he wanted his body cremated and his ashes scattered in secret. So Harvey broke Einstein's will completely. And not only his brain, but also his eyes were removed and given to Einstein's ophthalmologist, Henry Abramsa. When the doctor realized that he was going to get burned, he went to Einstein's son, Hans, and managed to convince him of the importance of what he had done and to get retroactive permission. He thus avoided legal liability, but Hans had one condition. His father's brain would only be analyzed for scientific research, and the results would be published in reputable academic journals. Harvey made this promise, and within a year, at the latest, that he was going to publish it. And indeed, Einstein's brain has been the subject of more than one study since then. After 53 years, Einstein's brain was returned to Princeton Hospital, where it was stolen. Thomas Harvey died three years after the brain was returned to the hospital.